Hi, welcome to Unlock Layout and Design and today we are going to discuss about Unlock Ground, Digital Ground and Ground Isolation. So let's try to understand what do you mean by ground. Okay. So assume I have a battery like this, I have a battery. So this is a 5 volt. Okay, this is a 5 volt battery. This is plus and minus. Okay. So if I connect some resistor R, which is called load, so a current will flow. Okay. So now is there a ground here? So there is nothing called ground. So what do you mean by ground? Ground means a reference point okay so now if i ground the negative terminal then if i measure the positive terminal it is 5 volt okay so it is a reference point from with respect to this negative point i will measure i will put a voltmeter like this and i will measure how much is the voltage and it will show 5 volt okay so now I can also do the other way okay I can make this one ground okay so this is my reference point right I can change the reference point so now what is this voltage now if I put a voltmeter like this like the same way like how I put earlier so how much will it read it will read minus 5 volt okay it will read minus 5 volt because I have grounded and I am taking the reference from this point okay ground means just a reference point and a common point okay now let's try to understand suppose say i have one battery this is a representation of battery okay a cell basically i have two cells each one is 5 volt 5 volt okay these two are the terminals now suppose say i ground this point okay so then what is the voltage here so with respect to ground i will measure so this will be if I measure between ground and this point, it will be 5 volt. Between, if I measure from ground to this point, ground and this point, it will be 10 volt because this one is plus minus, plus minus, they both are in series. So, this will be 10 volt. Okay. Now, in the same thing, I will change. okay this is 5 volt battery this is 5 volt battery i will change the ground okay what i do is i will make this point ground i'll make this point ground so what will be this voltage and what will be this voltage this voltage will be minus 5 volt and this voltage will be minus 10 volt okay so as i told you ground is the reference point from with respect to which i will measure okay now we'll do one more variation. I will ground this point. I'll make this point ground. So tell me like what is this voltage and what is this voltage? So this voltage will be plus 5 volt and this will be minus 5 volt. So this is my reference point. So if I measure from here, it is a voltage rise. And if I measure from here, it is voltage drop okay so hope this is clear so ground basically is a reference point okay so let's uh, try to understand a little more so here this is a cell 5 volt cell and i have just connected a load and a load resistor and a current flows there is no point which is referenced as ground so in this i have made the negative terminal ground okay so there is absolutely no change but uh, here ground is need not be absolute uh, zero volt okay it need not be zero volt so but in this case what i have i done is i have even connected this to using a earth uh, grounding rod i have connected to absolute ground okay so then this is absolute zero volt okay so here it is absolute zero volt and here what i have done is i have not shorted this this ground is uh, same as this one i have not shown a uh, connection here physical connection here but it is understood that these two are always shorted through a wire so let's try to understand what are the differences between unlock ground and digital ground first one is the symbol okay 
symbol this is the symbol for analog ground that we use and this is the uh, symbol for tg and digital ground this for ag and analog ground so the differences uh, the second difference is analog ground this is the first difference and uh, this is the second one okay so the second difference is analog ground will always be at zero volt okay it will be flat like this zero volt but digital ground will not be at zero volt it will be noisy it will be somewhat like this noisy it can be plus 50 volt minus 50 volt millivolt sorry it can be plus 50 millivolt minus 50 millivolt or even plus minus uh, 100 millivolt so uh, it's quite noisy that's why you will always see so if i have a digital uh, 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 gate so the low will not be always as uh, suppose uh, this is zero and vdd so low will not always be zero okay it will be there will be some margin similarly high will not always be vdd there will be some margin say 100 millivolt here 100 millivolt here so even if it is um, more 100 millivolt more than uh, zero it is still considered as low only and 100 millivolt below vdd still it is considered as high only so this is about the noise margin okay so why is the digital ground uh, noisy i have explained this uh, very much in that uh, video called the ground bounce please uh, go and uh, watch that video uh, i have explained it in detail so i'll just give a quick brief okay so whenever there is a transition like this from zero to vdd okay so that time uh, when it is zero then this is off and uh, this is on and when it is vdd this is on this is off and this is on okay so only one switch will be on at any point of time there will be only one switch which will be on okay and both the switches will be on when it is like vdd v2 or when the transition happens so that's what is shown here okay so whenever there is a transition from high to low high to low only during that time during this time when um, during this uh, period only a current will flow okay that's what i have shown this is the current zero here also it is zero and in between the current will increase like anything so this current profile means what is this current this is the current that flows from vdd to ground okay so that is this profile so the current will look like a spike okay it will be like a spike So the current will be like a spike and there is an inductor here. This is the pad inductor, pad parasitic inductance. Okay, ground also will have like a parasitic inductance. Okay, so now if I take this one, this is the ground, this, this inductor I am writing here and there is a current spike like this. So you will have whenever inductor a current changes, suddenly there will be like issue, there will be minus L di by dt is the voltage across that so okay so i have big current changing in very less time so this will be a parasitic inductance voltage so this earlier was zero now it will also bounce like this and this is the reason why you get noise in the ground and same way vdd please visit that uh, ground bounce video it is very well explained assume my circuit here this is the p substrate this is my ic this is the p substrate this is all like digital circuitry and this here is analog circuit okay and what is this this is the guard ring a g and d and this is the substrate ring or this is also substrate ring this is d g and d okay it has lot of tabs here okay substrate tabs like this i have not shown them here also the, it has lot of substrate tabs okay but basically it is internally shorted these are like internally shorted okay it it is connected to the same substrate but what we are uh, creating is a low resistance path for the current to flow so a g and d and d g and d okay what i do is i will take this ag and d and dg and d i will not connect it here only i will not do that one what i do is i will take it to the top 
I have a pad for A, G and D and D, G and D and from this pad when I connect to the pin, I will connect both them to the ground pin. There will be only one ground finally. Okay. So, I will connect to that pin. So, connection like this is called as star connection. Okay. So, just to revise. So, this entire circuitry is like the analog this portion is the analog this portion is the digital this is like the kind of pad connection this is the pad connection this is a g and d and this is d g and d okay i have these two pads i will connect both the pads say so i will write it here so this is the same two pads i'm just uh, d g and d and a g and d I will connect both of them here and then connect it to the pin pin which is a G and D pin okay so internally I have made uh, these two uh, I have maintained uh, A G and D and D G and D and finally I am connecting it here so if I see here all the points are meeting in a star so here so it's all meeting like a star that's why it is called as star connection okay so the same thing is uh, shown here uh, so this is the analog ground okay this is the analog circuit this is the a g and d and this is the d g and d don't connect it here this is wrong this is not the right way to connect okay so they are connected in series but now what i am doing is i brought this a g and d here and d g and d also here so if i see this is also getting connected here this is also connected getting connected to here so this is called as star connection so let's try to understand what do you mean by isolated ground okay isolated ground means suppose say i have one supply here okay and the there is a load like this i have and this is the return path so this is one ground so say this is called dg and d i will call it dg and d okay now i have one more ground here say a g and d okay so i have one more supply like this this is avdd and uh, this is dvdd okay so now this current whatever this loop of current is not going to this ground it is not there is no path and this current is uh, going back to this ground only and there is no path here so now i can say that these two are isolated there should be no path for the current to flow from this portion to this portion this ground to this ground okay then i i will say that it is isolated okay so in my normal substrate if i have a substrate like this is it isolated so i have my digital circuitry here i have my analog circuitry here this is the p substrate so this will have this connection ground connection to substrate this is also connected to the same substrate can a current flow from this a g and d to d g and d this is d g and d a g and d can a current flow from here to here and here to here definitely yes so this is not isolated it is not isolated so now how do i isolate ground okay so this is the piece of straight and what i do is i put a deep n well okay i put a deep n well and i will put a i will form one more piece of straight which is not connected this substrate and this substrate is not connected so this portion is isolated piece of straight this one i can connect to a separate ground like analog ground 
and this can be like a dg and d through this substrate tab and this one through this substrate tab okay so this will be my ag and d i can use this as ag and d by using a deep and well isolation in order to understand what is deep and well please watch another video deep and well in that i have explained what is deep and well in detail okay so i have like a 3 volt supply i don't want uh, the avdd and dvdd and avdd to be shorted so how do i uh, do that one so what i do is i connect dvdd to the dvdd pin okay for avdd there won't be two separate uh, supplies okay we have to make use of only one supply what i do is i'll put a inductor in between so how should how should this analog vdd be it should be a proper 3.3 volt say digital vdd can be little noisy okay it can be little noisy like this so that is dvdd but i put a inductor in between so inductor will act for high frequency xl is equal to 2 pi fl for high frequency this will act like a open circuit okay it is a open circuit for high frequency you know, disturbance whereas for dc for dc it is like a 2 pi fl if f is frequency is zero that is dc then it acts like a dc for dc it's like a short circuit so from this supply whatever is the dc component it will allow but it will block all the ac component that's how i get like in the same supply i will get dvdd and avdd okay so this one is like 2 pi fl whatever noise is there it will isolate and here it will be clean supply that's what we do similar thing we can do even for ground so in between digital ground and analog ground on the chip level we can do so this is outside the chip inside the chip what we do is a star connection and deep and well isolation now we will discuss the last topic in this one wherein i have multiple ag and d suppose say uh, this region is the ground of ag and d 3.3 volt and this region is ground of ag and d 1.8 volt so how do i uh, separate these two both of them are internally short okay short circuit but i want to maintain separate uh, pin but there is no deep and well isolation there is no deep and well isolation so then what do i do so what i do is i will maintain this entire thing okay this portion i will maintain the pin and i will bring it to a separate pad which is called ag and d and this entire thing i will maintain in a separate uh, this one and i will bring it to dg and d pad but the drc and the lvs will fail because these two are shorted okay so basically you cannot give two names for the same substrate okay so then in order to overcome that what we do is this entire area we will give a waiver for the drc by putting a layer called as p sub 2 p substrate 2 this is only for cleaning drc and lvs okay this is not a mask or a actual layer this is only to clean the drc but this entire portion will be like p sub 2 layer i will put a p sub 2 layer only for my understanding that it is ag and d i can put this p sub 2 layer for dg and d also any one of the ground i can just cover it with p sub 2 layer so that uh, for drc it will be clean thanks for watching uh, please hit the like button if you have liked and uh, please uh, share and subscribe and please post your questions in, in the comment section thank you